Robbie Abt and I work for the Delaware County Library and the Outreach Services Department. I'm here with you today to talk about chicken coops and chickens. A lot of you are buying chicks during the pandemic and I wanted to give you some ideas about how to keep chickens, what's good for them, what to feed them, and how to take care of them. So today the first thing you need to think about before you get chickens are, or is, where you're going to keep them at. So I'm going to talk about the coop first. Um, my chicken coop only holds about eight chickens. You'll want to consider how many chickens you can keep in your coop before you buy them. You'll need 1.5 square feet in the coop per chicken and 10 square feet in your run per chicken. So you'll want to consider both of those things. You're also going to need nesting box for your hens. You, you can have one box for every two to three chickens. So if you have six chickens, you only need two nesting boxes. You want to check for eggs every day so that they stay good, but they will stay good in the house in normal temperatures for up to two weeks. So next I'm going to talk to you about my watering bowls. I do have rubber watering bowls. I like to keep those because in the winter when the water freezes, I can get them the water unfroze instantly by kicking it or stepping on it um, and getting the ice out so I can give them fresh water every day. I also feed them five grain scratch. So it has um, sunflower seeds, corn, and little itty bitty pieces that helps clear their throats. Also, if you get chicks to start out with, you'll want to get baby chick feed. I usually purchase a 50 pound bag to start with. When I get through that, it's about time for them to go into normal feed. If you have chickens and you like them as much as I do, you'll want to give them treats. Things to consider for chickens are yogurt, popcorn, watermelon, grapes. There's lots of things that you can feed chickens that they'll love. I'm going to start now by talking to you about chicks. If you're thinking about purchasing chicks, you can get them from local, the local TSC, Champion Feeds. Um, you can order them online from the catalog. If you're buying chicks in Ohio, Ohio law states that you have to buy a minimum of six chicks. So six chicks um, is the minimum amount you can buy. You need to make sure that you can hold six chickens in your chicken coop. When you're buying chicks, you might also consider the fact that you might get a rooster. If you don't want a rooster, there might be a chance you get one. You're going to have to know how to get rid of it. Um, you can ask somebody on Facebook Marketplace if they're interested in a chicken. There's, there's ways to get rid of them, but they're not the easiest things to get rid of. Um, I always have a rooster. I like their crow. I've always had one since I've had chickens. You also want to consider a chick compared to a full-grown chicken. When you get a full-grown chicken, you know the sex of the chicken immediately. You know the color, the disposition. Yes, chickens do have different dispositions. Um, so you'll know more about the chicken when you get it. So now I'm going to walk over and show you some of my chickens. Beth, other side, other side. This is my daughter Beth. Um, she's in the fourth grade. She brought me our first chicken. Actually, he's a rooster. Um, you can tell a rooster by his crow. I'm sorry, by his crow, of course, but by his comb and his waddles. He's a bantam rooster, which means he's pretty small. Um, all chickens will come in a miniature size. Um, a miniature chicken is called a bantam, so if you have a full regular size chicken, most of them come in bantam sizes. He's a good uh, rooster, and um, I've had him probably for four years, and he's one of my favorites. I really do like his fluffy backside, and he's got a good disposition. The next chicken we'll be bringing out, her name is Tilly. I brought out was Tilly. She's a bantam head, and you can tell how very small she is. Bantams are really cold hardy. They last, they're good in the winter time. They're cold hardy. They lay smaller eggs. So for every two bantam eggs, you can make a large egg. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna let Cardboon go and show you a little bit more about Tilly. Um, Sorry, as you see, I don't um, clip their wings so they can fly. Chickens don't fly too well, but they fly a little bit. Tilly has booted feet. She has feathers on her feet. Um, they're a little muddy today because it rained last night. But she she's pretty um, feathers that puff out on her cheeks. She's a true bantam. She's an original bantam. Um, all the other bantams 
were made from larger chickens, but she's the only true bantam. Okay, the next chicken I will sell you, show you is... You're going to have to pause it. Okay, sorry about that. A little confusion with the chickens. Um, so Tilly's here. I'll show you her egg. She lays small little white eggs. That's Tilly's egg. This is Violet. She's a full-grown, regular-sized copper marin. She has pretty fluffy feathers in the back. Um, all chickens have combs, but as you know, would note, that the rooster has a larger comb than the hens. This copper marin lays brown eggs. And for every two size bands of eggs, you get one full size egg. So when you're cooking, you might want to keep that in mind. The lifespan of a chicken, normal chicken, um, one that has good conditions, can live up from 10 to 15 years. That's a long time for a chicken, so consider that when you're purchasing. Um, I let mine out in the yard sometimes. You'll have to watch for predators. Predators for chickens are hawks, raccoons, skunks, snakes, coyotes, and even a neighborhood dog. So when I have my chickens out, I do keep a close eye on them. The next chicken that will be coming up is Pickles. Um, Pickles is a nice chicken. She's an Easter egger. And I'll show you what's special about an Easter egg chicken. Pickles is an Aracana. We've had her for we've had her for a long time, and she's one of our nicest chickens. She also has the feathers on her face. She's called an Aracana. And Easter egg chickens are chickens that lay colored eggs, and she lays a green egg. Easter egg chickens can lay green, brown, or blue. There's even pink eggs. So when you're looking for chickens, you might want to check out and see what type of what type and color of eggs they lay. That's pickles. Bye pickles. So that's it for my coop presentation today. I hope that it helps you when it comes to buying chickens and planning for your chickens. If you want to check out DelawareLibrary.org, you can go onto our Overdrive site and download some books about chickens, chicken coops, kids and chickens, and how to take care of your chickens. If you don't have a Delaware Library card, you can get one online when you're looking. Have fun with your chickens, and we'll see you online.